Hi guys, it's Krishanti with Krishanti.com, bringing you weekly videos about psychic development and spiritual and personal growth. And this week's video is part five in a series on how to clear your own chakras with energy work at home. And this week we'll be talking about the throat chakra, which is the fifth chakra. We do have more than seven chakras. We have these seven main ones here along the governing meridian, but we have chakras in our hands, our feet. We have chakras above our head, little energy portals in the back of our neck, and maybe some chakras other places that I'm not aware of. But we are living, breathing energy beings. And these chakras are like power points, power centers of energy throughout our body. And the throat chakra, such a cool one. It represents how you communicate to the world, like your I am presence, your, your truth, really how you speak your truth. It's also though the home of your clairaudience. The throat chakra is a powerful channel for telepathy and clairaudience. And ways you can tell the throat chakra is blocked is you'll be having a lot of trouble being heard or people just won't listen to you or you feel like you can't kind of speak and can't be who you are. And it's not even just speak, it's like any form of expression of self. You'll feel stuck or tight. You might even feel a tightness if you're sensitive in your throat chakra. If you're psychic, you might find it's harder to hear your guides or that you're just stuck that way that's the that's an imbalanced throat, throat chakra and in all of these videos I talk about the three basic techniques for how to do it but I'm repeating them so that if you come in here and watch maybe just one video you know the drill you know as opposed to the whole series but one of my favorite techniques for clearing chakras is a very basic one I found in a, in a book and I wish I had it I could show you but I don't I can't find where I found it but basically you lie down and you open your chakra like a valve counterclockwise. And then you have a grounding cord going down into the earth and you imagine all the unwanted energy draining out of that chakra, draining out into the earth, which uses negative energy like fertilizer, it just drains all the way out. And then when you feel like that's done, you fill it with light. You just breathe in light. You can breathe in that blue light which is typically, this is a blue color. You can just breathe in brilliant sunlight, just see filled with light and spinning beautifully. And then when you feel like that's complete, you just close the valve and you're done. A valve, I think I said valve. So close the valve and you're done. Another technique that I really love for clearing chakras is the clairvoyant technique. And I have a free, centering, grounding, and running your own energy meditation on my website, krishanti.com. That gets you primed to do psychic work. It gets you into psychic mode. So you listen to that meditation and then you go ahead and imagine, okay, I'm going to look at my throat chakra and I'm going to see what's up. And this is where I want you to let your imagination lead, let your creativity show you. You might see it shabby. It might be off to the side. It might be small. It might be still. You might see weird pictures in there that don't look good. Whatever you see that right away tells you is off, you either blow it up with energy, you drain it down a grounding cord, or you can actually work with those pictures, those deep subconscious archetypal images, and you change them. And when you change a picture at that deep, deep, deep psychic mode, you are doing a healing, a clearing and a healing. So here's an example of when I saw a client's throat chakra, like a mind shaft. So I'm like, la -da 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 -da, let's see what's in your throat. It's like an abandoned mind shaft, like all messed up and all dark, scary in there. And I'm like, okay, that doesn't look good. So right away I did a clearing on it. I, I just kind of blew it up, like move the energy out of the way. And then I'm like, okay, well, what does she really want? And the pictures of her that came actually was her, her standing tall, like speaking in front of an audience. 
And so I replaced that picture with that more empowered picture of like, like, you know, speaking and using your voice. And then you kind of just fill it with light if you like, or you can leave that picture. Um, but I actually always recommend filling it with light before moving on and you're good. Now, sometimes you'll see a lot of pictures in a chakra and you just keep working with what you see until everything feels good and feels right and you know you're done. And that's the clairvoyant way of doing it. And then there's another way, which is using your guides, calling in your guides. Before I get into that though, I wanna let you know, I do, this is one of my signature readings, is clairvoyant reading and healing, but I love to have people be empowered. I think it's better if you're able to do this stuff on your own, for yourself. Like we don't wanna encourage dependence because that's not, that's not really helpful for you. So I created a chakra healing meditation and it was such a beautiful energy healing and that's only $15. You can listen to it as often as you need to and it's a, it's a really good, powerful energy healing that you can do at home. But um, that aside, a third way you can clear your chakras is to meditate and then call in your guides, call in the angels, call in the master healers to help you and then relax and feel them working on you and feel them pulling, they may be pulling energies out. You may see it, you may sense it, you may hear them, and then they'll fill it, fill it with light. One thing I wish I'd mentioned in all these other chakra videos is that sometimes we can have cords in our chakras, cording us to old jobs, cording us to people, especially, especially in that when people break up, dude, in that, the second chakra, the root chakra, not so much heart that much because the heart is so powerful, but second and root, there's a lot of cords in there to the, to the partner they broke up with. So the best thing there, if you're working with angels, is to ask Archangel Michael to come and cut the cords. He is so present when you call on him. He really comes through. I have seen him. And I've had these experiences where like the client is like, oh my God, did you see that? I'm like, yes, I did. And then, and then we finished the healing. And then there's a, like another big sign. Like I, I was doing a healing on somebody. It was so cool, Archangel Michael. Like that was neat and she felt it. And then half an hour later, a guy came to fix the fridge that was broken. He had the biggest Archangel Michael tattoo all over his arm. And he said, my name is Michael. It was amazing and he was a believer. He's like, I have fought the demons and Michael helped me and I'm alive today because of Archangel Michael. I could cry, it's so profound, but you get signs like that, like the gangbusters, it's so cool. Um, all my psychic students starting out with connecting with their guides, they can feel it. So if you establish that connection, which you can do on your own, they will help you and you'll feel that energy. And before I go, I'd like to hear about your experiences with the throat chakra in particular, or all the chakras. Uh, do you ever feel they're out of balance? What's your way of, of getting them cleared and cleaned up? And while we're on the topic of all this psychic stuff, if you have any psychic experiences to share too, that would be so great to hear. Again, this is where the clairaudience comes through, because um, it's all through the sinus channels. It's all through like here, here, up here you know when you get those weird headaches you're like oh but well, I actually have a sinus back there you know like and the back here and back here is where big spirits plug into you if you're going to do full body channeling which I don't want to do but they plug in through these little in the back of your head so um very very interesting I can talk more if you want me to make a whole thing about the this and as a channel and like the channeling stuff I let me know put it in the comments below and I'll work on it but I've rambled on long enough thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you next week bye